Hi, this is Richard Chamberlain. I'm one of the attorneys with the Chamberlain Law Group in Perrysburg, Ohio, and I want to welcome you to this episode of the Protecting Your Family's Future podcast. This is episode number 20. Uh, today we're going to be talking about funding of a trust or asset alignment, and it's really important uh, this topic uh, to cover this if you have a trust because so many people uh, get this wrong or don't do it uh, at all. Um, so I wanted to share this with you. If you have a trust or if you're thinking about a trust, this is really something you need to know and understand. Uh, so I hope this is going to be helpful for you. I had a, a client in the office earlier this week and uh, they had a trust. It had been done years ago by another attorney in another part of the state. And they wanted to make sure that their estate would avoid probate when they passed away. So, you know, I, I of course explained that having a trust doesn't mean your estate avoids probate. Having a trust where the trust is the owner of the assets that it needs to own, that is what is going to determine whether probate is avoided or not. And, and as it turned out, none of their assets were owned by their trust. So I explained this, this estate will not avoid probate. And, and here's how we go about fixing it. So we talked about how to go about fixing that. So that was just a reminder for me that there are people out there who have trusts that were prepared by other attorneys uh, or people who are thinking about trusts who don't know that a critical step in the trust creation process is what we call the asset alignment process or, or funding. You might have heard it called funding of a trust. And that is where the ownership of certain assets is changed so that the trust becomes the owner of those things or the trust becomes the beneficiary of those things. If you, if you remember back to, uh, I think it was in episode number seven, uh, where we talked about how a trust avoids probate. Uh, it, the, the answer is a trust will avoid probate if the trust is the owner of assets that would otherwise have to go through probate. So let's take an example. If a person owns a house and they pass away owning that house, then in order for someone to be able to do something with that house, whether it's sell it or transfer it to, uh, to the new owners or to uh, just continue to, uh, to rent it out, for example, then they need to get the legal authority to do those things. And if, if the asset is owned just in that person's name, then they have to get that authority through the court, through the probate process. Uh, even if they have a trust. Uh, if the trust doesn't own that house, it doesn't do any good. So it's really important for the trust to be the owner of that house. Uh, same thing with bank accounts, with investment accounts, with automobiles or boats, stocks, business interests, any of these types of assets that you might have uh, that would have to go through probate when you pass away they need to be owned by your trust. Uh, now, you, you may be thinking, well, I don't want to put it in my trust. I want to be able to control it and use it. Well, if it's a revocable living trust and you are the trustee of that trust, then you can still control it. You can do whatever you want with it. It doesn't make life more complicated for you. It just puts it in a position so that the right people can manage those assets for you, either if you become incapacitated or when you pass away. So it's really important to be able to uh, do that. You know, once you have your trust set up, you need to go through each and every asset that you have and determine should this go into the trust uh, or should the trust be a beneficiary of these things. And that's a uh, discussion that you should have with your attorney to determine what's going to be the best way for your assets to be aligned with your estate plan. So if you have a trust, don't make the mistake of not funding it correctly, of not having your assets aligned properly. 
talk to your attorney and make sure that those things are done so that your estate plan will achieve your needs and your goals. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, you want to talk to one of us, uh, then you can reach out to us. The uh, contact information through our website is in the show notes. Uh, if you uh, need to schedule an appointment, you can request that right on the website. So hope that was helpful for you. We'll see you again next week. Thanks.